Hey guys, be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Instagram for extra content you won't see here. Click the links in the description below. Hey, what's up guys? Eagle 94 back again here with another action figure review. Today we are looking at the Hasbro Marvel Legends Ultimate Rider Series, the X-Men, Professor X, and Hover Chair. I'm holding the box forward right now because I don't want the glare covering the figure, but this is how he's packed. Then they split the Hover uh, Chair in half. Uh, but this is your display of the figure. We also do get a 80 years symbol down here. I guess they're celebrating 80 years of Marvel. There's the side art. I know it's very hard to see, but it's just a picture of Professor X. And on the back of the box, we have uh, another picture of the figure along with some close-ups. And oh, and before we continue, I just want to let you guys know you guys can check out the link down below in the description where you guys can uh, pre-order your own hover chair Professor X and also the Deadpool on the scooter. So Hasbro has delivered our classic comic version of Charles Xavier and he comes with his buildable hover share. It's essentially a build uh, a vehicle because you have to build it and put it together. Funny because I remember hearing some of the community members saying that uh, that was a good idea for a build the figure piece like they did with the vulture wings uh, to do a, a, a Professor X and then make the hover chair the build the figure or the build the vehicle. But sure enough, they went ahead and put it in the Rider series, which is pretty nice. I'll take that. So here is how it comes. We hit two pieces. You see it's hollowed out. You just connect it together. It's pretty simple. You just uh, slide in the pegs into the peg holes. There are multiple, but they all slide in perfectly. Very easy. There's no snap, but it's, it's, it's in there very well. And then from there we go on to the uh, the rest of the pieces here. So we get the the back cushioning that just slides in, and then that that snaps in there. And then we also have that big old peg hole down in the bottom of the seat, and that is where the the cushioning for the bottom of the seat go. So let's see if I can get it in there. Yep. So very easy so far. So there is that. And then lastly, we have uh, the the cover, which is meant to cover his legs whenever he is sitting in there. But that is once we get Charles inside in there. Now, the bottom does have a peg, too. And that is for the effect piece, which I do like a lot. And this is how you stand the hover chair, too. So that gets connected there. And that is how you can display your hover chair. And now it looks like he is hovering. And that is the effect. For the most part, it is just plastic uh, color it's not painted uh, we do get some paint here and uh, and that's it honestly that's that's about it, it it's nicely sculpted but uh, they could have gone the extra mile and and really really detailed this thing and it would have been amazing but uh, this is a customizer's field day here you can just easily uh, paint the vents or the buttons or or whatnot they painted that which is cool. If they would have kept it going, it would have just been a nice touch. You know, it's it's a nice sculpt overall. It's a nice chair. But speaking of nice touches, this is a nice touch here. You can slide open the the side here, and it unveils some control panels. So this is cool. At least they put some color in here, and um, that looks good. And to sit Charles inside, you just of course just put him in a sitting pose, and he will sit just fine. I'm gonna put his arms up real quick. So I can get the cover in as well, because right now you just see, you can see his legs in there, and the cover just it just lays over him. It doesn't really peg into anything. I actually do wish that the uh, the cover actually had somewhat of a peg. I don't think it no, it doesn't peg into anything unless you put it on the side of the cushion. But I do wish it had that because it, it, it can still move around inside. The figure still is pretty loose in there. And then if you, well, from what I've noticed, moving it around, the cover even, you know, moves forward and it just doesn't look look good. I know you can't really tell. But, but yeah, that's it. I mean, if, if there was a, a little peg, it would have been uh, easier to handle. But it's no big deal, honestly. And not only does Professor X come with the hover chair he does come with his cerebro helmet so you can put this on his head of course there is a peg hole on the back because he comes with an effect for his power it just gives a little effect like he's using his power reading minds and just seeing you know into people's heads uh say what you want about this effect it's so it's all right at least they included it and at least they made it removable 
definitely could have been better. I don't know, something about it just looks off. But they thought about it, right? Anyway, so this is not all he comes with. He does come with a random piece here, which is the head for our Shadow King, which should go on to a Kingpin body. So this means you're going to have to buy uh, two Kingpins or, you know, buy two sets of that wave to build two Kingpins. So that's mighty expensive. But um, if you want a Shadow King, you're going to have to do it. And this is quite the uh, the sculpt work in the paint it looks nice we got removable glasses so these glasses aren't molded on uh, right there so now there's the face without it that looks looks great honestly so paints nice looks good it just uh you're just gonna have to buy another kingpin or build another kingpin to apply it on and have a shadow king so going back to the helmet it fits on very good it's actually a tight fit so it takes a bit to get it in there, but once it's in, it is good to go, and it looks good. It's a, it's a good fit for the figure, and that has the effect. I, I don't know. I'm just not feeling this effect. I, I think I prefer it without it, so I'm going to take it off and have him without the effect piece, and then that's how he looks. Let's not cover his eye. There you go. And as for Charles, he is sporting the uh, suited body that almost everyone has this is the agent colson body so this one's been used the most the new one that came out is on nick fury so it's a bigger mold it's a taller mold it's a slightly different one uh, but this is the one that dates back to colson this one uh tony stark had it in that 10th anniversary pack agent ross and uh i can't think of anybody else right now but i know there were several others that had it so anyways he's gonna have all of the same points of articulation which is good because this one's actually well articulated. I like the body mold. So the head's going to swivel left and right. You can do all that. Look up. You can look down. Uh, you get a slight head tilt. Not too much. Uh, the arms are going to move forward and back. In and out, we get bicep swivels, double jointed elbows, swivel at the wrist with a hinge. You can see how they molded the hands here. One is like this, and then the other one is just opened up. To the torso, we have the ab crunch, the waist swivel, legs are T-jointed, so they're going to move forward and back, in and out. We get the thigh swivels, double jointed knees, and then we get the ankle hinge with the ankle pivot, and then the ankle swivel. No, this one does not have a swivel. I think the Nick Fury one has a swivel, but this one does not. And we have our Professor X head sculpt here. Pretty good. We got the eyebrows. Eyebrows on fleek. They're looking nice, and uh, it's a new sculpt, of course. We haven't gotten a Professor X by Hasbro, and I don't think ever. Guys, quote me on that. I don't know uh, if there was any Professor X from Hasbro. I don't think so. I think the last one we got was Toy Biz. So if you're like me, and you never got the Toy Biz version, simply because you were probably too young <laughs> at the time it came out, or I wasn't even collecting Toy Biz Leg or Legends overall at that time, and not only was I young, but... Uh, <laughs> I didn't even have my own money to buy toys, but uh, I could easily get that figure now. It's just, uh, I just haven't gotten around to it. I should get it. Anyways, looks good though for Hasbro's first take on it, if it is, and I do like it. Alright, so first and foremost, I want to get them next to the X-Men family here. So first we'll throw in the Wolverine Tiger Stripe, came in the Apocalypse Wave. Then this one was from the Juggernaut Wave, I think. <laughs> I don't want to get... No, this was Warlock. Sorry. I already got it wrong. So Cyclops was from Warlock. And then we have our Jean Grey from our Return of Marvel Legends series. I don't remember what build figure that one was. Might have been Rocket Raccoon. Not sure. And then we have Rogue. Slightly off screen. Let's get them all centered in here. But these look great together, of course. Uh, Professor X isn't supposed to be standing, but I want to get all of them standing next to each other just so we can get a sense of scale, which is something we're already expecting. We already know this body, this suited body, and there's nothing really different in terms of height, but just for the sake of the review, if Jean Grey would like to stand up, that'd be nice. One issue with this Jean Grey is that it's hard to stand up. All right, so there they are next to each other. They look good. You gotta love X-Men, man. If, if there's... Uh, a team in Marvel that is probably one of the best teams. I, I'd say X-Men is definitely, definitely up there. And here we have next to the Tony Stark from the 10th Anniversary Marvel Studios 2-pack. Walmart exclusive. It's the same body, just painted differently. 
Uh, so I like how not only have they re-released this body mold numerous times, giving us numerous opportunities to build any type of army that we want with suited bodies, but they all made them slightly different. I like how they're all different colors. I like how Agent Ross was gray and then Tony is blue. Of course, Professor X is green. Uh, lots of different colors and the Agent Coulson one was our traditional black. So we'll get him in here now and this was actually the first time we got a suited body ever and the community, the toy community went crazy when this came out. I remember that uh, just to get this three pack was insane. But there he is and I also used that body on a Tony Stark that I, I just popped on the Tony Stark head right there. So it's the same Agent Coulson bodies. But here's your suits. Uh, I don't have Agent Ross right now. So, but it is the same body as uh, as all of these here. All right, and here he is next to the Mezco X-Men Deadpool figure. There he is next to the massive Marvel Select Beast figure. Here we have the SH Figuarts Dragon Ball Z Vegeta. Our NECA TMNT Leonardo. And in honor of the new Kratos figure coming out soon, here he is next to the NECA Kratos from God of War. And next to some of the other writers we got previously before, uh, our first line was actually, or our first wave, I should say, was actually the uh, the Black Widow wave. She's a little dusty. But it was the motorcycle here. We still haven't seen a reuse of this motorcycle. I'm sure we will. Uh, but the Black Widow was first up. And then, of course, we had our Ghost Rider along with the Black Widow. And after that, shortly, we did get a Logan with the same motorcycle. So no difference there. Thank you guys for joining me on this review of the Ultimate Series Professor X. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. Be sure to check out some of my other reviews. I've been putting out uh, almost two reviews every day. A lot of the new Legends I have up. Some of the new Mezcos. Just a lot of variety, but mostly Legends right now. So if you don't mind, leave a like. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Show some support. And as always, have a great day.